As we walked beside the column of smiling, waving Tibetans, decked out in brilliantly colorful traditional costume, we wondered why our little group of four American tourists and two guides was getting so much attention. Suddenly, we realized that we were leading a phalanx of Chinese bureaucrats, VIPs who had come to the Tibetan Plateau's Yushu Horse Festival to officially proclaim the beginning of the lavish festivities. We had come to Qinghai province of western China, well known as the birthplace of the Dalai Lama, to attend this festival, little known in the rest of the world. During this annual event, Tibetan nomads from the entire region come together to connect with others in their community and to have some fun. These few days a year provide some respite from their otherwise difficult lives. Attending the event gave us the opportunity to take a look at the ancient culture of the Tibetan people while having plenty of fun ourselves. On that first day, the members of our welcoming party transformed themselves into individual groups of dancers from all over the region, all of whom performed flawlessly. Whether a dance troupe consisted of elders or kindergartners, all of their performances were extremely precise and well-disciplined. The diverse array of costumes drenched with enough color to confound the senses. A unique aspect of the costuming was the use of stylized mounds of heavy amber that jutted from the heads of many of the women. On day two, we witnessed one of the most elaborate and exotic fashion shows we could have ever imagined. Men and women from the entire region paraded, posed, and pranced all over the field in a well-choreographed show. This was not easy to do since they were weighed down with heavy silks, brocades, wild animal skins, and mounds of amber and coral. On the third day, the crowd got what it had been waiting for when the horse competition began. Tibetan nomads are crazy about their horses and love to gallop them full on. Being encouraged by an enthusiastic audience made it even more exciting for all of the participants. It was tough to say who enjoyed the series of events the most, the fans, the riders, or the small spirited horses. It felt like they too had waited all year for their moment in the shining Himalayan sun and took full advantage of it. Throughout the entire festival, the influence of Tibetan Buddhism prevailed. Monks joined in by administering early morning blessings, rode horses in the competitions, and took photographs, just as the rest of us onlookers were doing. <laughs> 